of years ago all the continents of today formed a single continental mass called pangaea and a mega ocean called panthalassa surrounded them the pangaea began to split around 200 million years ago it first broke into two large continental masses called gondwana and laurasia or the angara land the gondwana land consisted of present day africa madagascar india australia south america and antarctica the laurasia consisted of north america europe and asia later the gondwana land and laurasia continued to break into several smaller continents that exist today due to some geological factors the indo-australian plate got separated from gondwana land and drifted northwards thus colliding with the eurasian plate and forming the fold mountains that we now call himalayas during the formative stage of himalayas while they were in the process of elevation they left a deep depression this depression gradually got filled up with gravel sand and silt called alluvium brought down by the himalayan rivers this level stretch of fertile land then came to be known as great plains based on the physiographic features india can be divided into six divisions the himalayan mountain the northern plains peninsular plateau indian desert coastal plains and the islands the himalayas meaning abode of snow are the highest mountains in the world they stand like a gigantic wall all along india's northern frontier they extend from the borders of myanmar in the east to western limits of kashmir the himalayas consist of three parallel mountain ranges the great himalayas called the himadri the lesser himalayas called the himachal and the foothills called the shivaliks the great himalayas contain nine of the 14 highest peaks in the world mount everest being the highest kanchanjunga is the highest mountain peak in india and the third highest peak in the world k2 which is the second highest peak in the world is alternatively known as mount godwin austen it lies in the park occupied kashmir in the karakoram range and it is still known worldwide by its original survey number k2 where k stands for karakoram the first to reach the summit of mount everest who Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay on May 29 1953 Bachendri Pal was the first Indian woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest The northern plains lie to the south of Himalayas they are generally level and flat these are formed by the alluvial deposits laid down by the rivers indus ganga brahmaputra and the tributaries these river plains provide fertile land for cultivation that is the reason for high concentration of population in these plains in the himalayas when the process of elevation they left a deep depression This depression gradually filled up with gravel, sand and silt called alluvium brought down by the Himalayan rivers. This level stretch of fertile land then came to be known as the Great Plains. Deccan Plateau is the oldest table land of south indian peninsula it was once a part of gondwana land and owing to repeated geological pressures this part broke off from the main mass 
and exist to this day as one of the remaining blocks of that ancient land. The name Deccan or Dakin is from the Sanskrit word Dakshin which means the south. The plateau lies south of Vindhya range which separates it from the northern plains. The plateau is shaped like a triangle bounded on the east and the west by mountain ranges known as eastern and western ghats. In the western part of India lies the great Indian desert. It is a dry, hot and sandy stretch of land and it has very little vegetation. Of the 11 famous deserts in the world, the Thar Desert is the 7th largest in area. It spreads over western India and Pakistan. Marusthali, meaning a dry, sandy region, is an old name for that part of Thar Desert which lies in India. It comprises of the areas from four Indian states, Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat and Rajasthan. To the west of Western Ghats and east of Eastern Ghats lie the coastal plains. The western coastal plains are very narrow compared to the eastern coastal plains. These were formed due to the sediments brought down by the peninsular rivers and due to the erosional and depositional activities of the sea waves. The western coastal plains are generally divided into three parts. The northern portion is known as the Konkan coast. The central is known as the Kannad coast and the southern part is known as the Malabar coast. The eastern coastal plains are generally divided into two parts. The northern portion is referred as the Northern Sarkar and the southern portion is referred as the Koromandal coast. The mainland, India has two groups of island lying in the Bay of Bengal and in the Arabian Sea. Scattered in the Arabian Sea, about 300 km to the west of Kerala coast are a group of 36 coral islands. Formerly known as Lakadiv, Minikoi and Amandivi Islands, they were renamed Lakshwadweep in 1973. The sand of Lakshwadweep is of pure white. Coral islands are created by tiny sea creatures called polyps. In order to protect their soft bodies, these creatures build skeletons of calcium carbonate. When they die, these skeletons turn into large masses of white limestone. Thus, the sand found in Lakshwadweep is of white color. The Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal consists of hundreds of big and small islands. The Andamans are the largest group consisting of 324 islands. The Andamans are separated by the Nicobar group of islands by the 10 degree channel. On April 10th, 1991, India's only active volcano erupted in the barren island in Andamans after lying dormant for two centuries. <laughs>